Take a picture. I'm here in my studio, also known as my bedroom. I'm working on it one step at a time. You know, you can't do everything at once. Unless you're, let's not compare. March has been crazy in the best way possible. Where do I begin? Well, I had a breakdown. Got into my van the other morning and it wouldn't start and it was a street sweeping day, which meant I had to move it within a couple of hours. Fortunately, there still exists the good old fashioned neighbor willing to lend that cup of sugar or car battery if needed. Love your neighbor. One such neighbor is my neighbor, Jim. The day that my van wouldn't start, I just ran around the back alley and was like, Jim, I think I ran out of gas. He gave me a gas tank with gas in it, went to go fill it, still wouldn't start. And he was like, I think it's your battery. Don't worry, I got one of those too. I'm gonna record this so I can learn. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't need me anymore. Oh, that's oh. not true. I always <laughs> need you, Jim. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, it started. Sincerely, I just don't know what I would have done without him. Okie doke, girl. I love my neighbor. It's my neighbor Jim and he saved the day. <laughs> He's my buddy. I did an open mic night, which I'd never done before by way of reading a story. Essentially about an awkward middle school me. And how I just kind of sort of really wasn't the pick of the litter. I know, hard to believe, right? Just like a dream, you are not what you seem. I painted some garden boxes in my community for a local church. It's a free community garden, so like they planted all of these like fresh little veggies and spices and herbs and whatever, and anybody in the community can just come and pick them. It's like free food, essentially. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I think that might have been because of the dance breaks. Dance breaks are super important. I might have to figure out how to balance them, but I just think they're necessary in order to be creative. In fact, I feel like I should pay homage to the dance break. I love that they're loving on the neighborhood in that way. It's like, here's how we want to bless the neighborhood that we're a part of. Sure, I'll come paint your garden boxes. I got some more commission pieces in, which was awesome. The hard thing about doing art and about spending so much time with it and being so in love with color is that you end up falling in love with these pieces. For as crazy as it might sound, they kind of become my friend. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, skateboard. <laughs> And it's really hard to let some of them go. I am currently working on a commissioned piece from a lovely gal. Ashley, if you're watching this, hello. We've never actually met, but I dig that you dig my style. And I think she has kids, so what up kids? Ashley, I hope this piece blesses your walls. It's gonna look so good on your walls. I don't exactly know how walls can be blessed, but I'm pretty sure that they can be. Okay, enough talking. I need to turn Whitney Houston back on and get back to painting. I love being in the industry of color and really anything. Ugh. What else? Oh, the hip hop show. I got to do another live art show with all hip hop performers and me dancing to hip hop music and the gift of gap who is incredibly talented. I'm working on the canvas that I'm gonna be painting tonight for the gift of gab show. That's correct. With Black Alicious. It's backstage before the Gift of Gab show. By backstage, I mean I'm in my bedroom before arriving to the bar. Basically, the theme of that painting was to speak your truth in love, was to not be afraid to use your voice, and I used his song titles to get that message across, and then at his show, painted over it, so. Um, he very much inspired that piece. This is the underlying message, the voice of the painting. Again, meaning. I love it. I love putting that into paintings. Hey, I found the light button on my computer. Squirrel. What else? Are you recording? I got commissioned to do my first mural. Do I look at you in the camera? I mean, I've done like a friend's wall before, but I haven't done anything out in the community before. And so that was really cool to actually do my first, my first local piece in San Diego, in Ocean Beach. I love Ocean Beach. It's where I live. It's my home. The guy who had posted on Facebook that he was looking for an artist to do a mural, I sent him my info and said I was super interested. And lo and behold, he was interested in me being interested. 
interested. And uh, yeah, should you find yourself wandering into the art box in Ocean Beach, feel free to hashtag that. JJ Barrow's art. It's crazy. Because four months ago, I was really depressed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 2015 was a rough year for me. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> In January of 2016, I knew things had to change and one morning I woke up and I was like, what am I doing? So I really didn't get excited about life until I started doing something about all the dreams that I had. And I don't say that to say like, look at me. I say it to say it's totally possible to do what you want to do and be who you want to be. If I can do it, you can do it. Let it be said that not every day is perfect. Sometimes you just have those days where you lay in bed and eat expired popcorn for lunch. I think it's all part of the process, even the bad days. Just start somewhere. Don't think about how far you have to go just yet. Just start, start, and go, and keep going. In this world, people can be kind of mean, and so when people are like, hey, you're doing good, kid, keep going, I'm like, <laughs>